Well, New Year's babies always get a lot of attention for being the first born to bring in the new year. However, being born on a date that happens once every four years, February 29th, is a very exclusive group. And today we caught up with two new additions to the Leap Day Babies Club. It's a day these two families won't ever forget. We thought he was going to come closer to the due date because he's the first baby. But, uh, yeah, my water broke on Saturday, so we had to be induced on Sunday. At first, I didn't want Leap Day Baby at all, but I got to the point where I just wanted the baby, and he's healthy, so, but it's, uh, it's fun. It's a fun day for him. Sheila Gaffey and her husband Ryan welcomed their third child into the world today, Andrew Joseph Gaffey, and didn't expect he'd be born on Leap Day. Next year, they say they'll celebrate his birthday during the month when he was born. It'll be the 28th, which is when I went into labor, and then every four years he'll get two birthdays, so he's kind of a special guy. This way. Two rooms down, Mario and Kristen Flashlick also gave birth on Leap Day. Theodore Matthew Flashlick is their first child. I didn't know weakling was an expression. Yeah. We're just now. It's special. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone, I don't know anyone personally was born on the 29th. Um. I, I, Both families say they plan to throw two parties for yeah, their children every four <laughs> years. Although, a special yeah. celebration for two babies who share a birthday on a day that comes as often as the presidential election. Every four years, they kind of really live it up and have a special 